All right, so we just pulled over on the side of the road. Check out a spot. Miss Jane and I. And what do we got here, Jane? An old cellar hole. <laughs> An old cellar hole, that is right. Yeah, you can see the rocks lined up here and down that way. Kind of make that out. Weird shape to it. Yeah, but right down here, I see an old bottle. That would have been quite old by the looks of it. Oh, it's embossed. Can you wipe that off? Oh, wow. Look at that. Can you make it What's out? it say? Mm -hmm. It says uh, mm -hmm. St. Stephen, New Brunswick, down here at the base. It's very mm -hmm. faint. And the International Drug Company huh. registered. And that was a soda bottle company. That's a neat little slug plate bottle. Too bad we can't make out the lettering on it a little better. Let's see if I can clean it out. I can kind of see it a little bit there. Very old bottle, probably from the late 1920s or 30s. Look at the color to it. Weird. A straw yellow color. Neato. Me oh. All right, let's keep looking around here. A little random find. Okay, so before we go any further, while well, I was just sort of filming that last bottle right here, which actually that would have made a, a nice little glass if I had a glass cutter to cut that off. Would have been a nice. Maybe I should keep that. But in the meantime, while I'm rambling on, Jane's over here digging around. And what did you get there, Jane? For starters, big old bone. Check it out. Friggin' femur bone. Thing's yeah. huge. Might be a dog bone. Like a dog. Be a dog bone. Like dog. something a dog would chew on or like a, or a dog leg. A I dog think. leg, yeah, who knows? <laughs> I, I don't know. Like And uh, what's the what did you get over here? Yeah. Check this out, folks. Jane's got a bottle down in there. Oh, wow. Is it a cork top? What is it? I don't know. This is yours. This is my domain? Yeah, this is your domain. It's an old, uh, well, it's not embossed. It's an old lug style. Oh my God, there's another Maybe a food jar. You got another? Another bone. Another bone. Well, it's plug solid, but that is an old jar. And that's probably from the late 20s or early 30s. The same as this other one, I suspect. So that's cool. Maybe there's some more stuff around here. There's some uh, plate glass there. You be careful digging around that. Cut yourself very easily. Oh, look. There's... All right. Cool beans. So there's some glass around here for sure. There's a... That's weird. Huh. Almost has a... Might be manganese glass, that one. A Dominion glass mark, I think, on the base, so it probably isn't, but let's keep looking around. All right, Jane was digging around over here and uh, seen a piece of glass right here. See that right, right here? Jane is filming, by the way. As you can see, I got both hands for you to go. All right, it is a little contents bottle, probably uh, an extract bottle. Embossed contents, two fluid ounces. And oh, well, there's something right there. Look at that little piece. Mm. A little decorative. Got a place where you can put a screw into it. That's kind of neat. Hmm, you want to? Oh, right there, there's another. Yes. Something similar. Hmm. It almost looks like. I used that. No idea. Amber glass. I don't want to these rocks. I don't want to dig up too much of these, but disturb the location too much. Anyways, put that back. All right. Cool finds. Over and out. There's that one. 
Okay, so I brushed the leaves back here and I got a, another thing sticking out of the ground here. That says something. Oh, wow. It says new Milo Taylor Forges, maybe? Company? Looks like Quebec LPH. Oh, it's a pulley. Knock some of the dirt out of that. That's pretty neat. Huh. That would have hung on something. And uh, it's a pulley. Very cool. I might keep that. That's a nice old relic right there. A nice old relic. big piece of something here. Uh, uh. Holy jumping. Holy it's a big piece of iron. So there's nice. definitely some stuff dumped right here along the edge of this cellar hole. Should have had that scratcher with us. <laughs> I never even saw it. Look. That's an oh, oldie. That's... Nice blue color. Or uh, aqua blue or greenies. That's pretty cool. Neato. All right, so a few little finds coming out of here. Check back in, in a minute. Okay, folks. So Jane's down on the woolly wags there doing the splits. I got some other relics up here. I just pulled this here out of the ground. Doesn't look like much. But I flipped it over. Check it out. It's got a brass D buckle on the back side of it attached to it. I don't know why it's there, but that's a pretty neat thing there. Cool. Brass D buckle. And I see right here, it's a wonder somebody didn't shove that in the side of their foot or something. Check it out. Old three prong pitchfork. One of the prongs is broke off it, but uh, pretty neat. Fine, just the same. Relic. What you find cool there, Jane? A 16 fluent ounce bottle with a cool design. Got the lid on it. Very rusty. Got some markings some on the markings, base. Some ways. All those little dots mean that it's after probably 1940s. I'm guessing, what do you think? 50s or 60s? Uh, I thought maybe 76. Like that number? Mm, no, I or it, that's it just, that I don't know. I, I don't know. Probably probably not that modern. You know more about this than I do. I don't know. You're pretty smart. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing I got right there. Oh, wow. Check it out. That's pretty old. It's one of those old logging hooks, isn't it? Oh, it even still functions. Cool. Wow. That's like old. Look that. how worn that is. That is super cool. It's like a pike with a... Oh, it's got a you marking could, on you it. You can grab onto the logs with it. No, it's got a marking right there. I think that's just where the the uh, oh, rivet okay. goes through. See? Oh, that could be. No, oh, that's really cool. I think I'll save that. I'll keep that, take it with us. Yeah, I was just about ready to say that. I'll keep that. Knock the uh, dirt out of the end of it there. Yeah. Lighten it up a bit. Oh, I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I, I think, didn't head it, I think it was already like that. No, oh, I don't want to head it anymore because I right. don't want to destroy it. Cool beans, nice yeah. find. Cool. Hey. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Good day, YouTubers. Welcome back to another recap extravaganza. Bonanza! <laughs> That's right. And in this old video, folks, Jane and I uh, explored around an old cellar hole. We didn't find a whole lot for glass there, but we did find a few interesting metal relics. And we will get into those 
But before we do so, I would like to show you what I'm drinking here tonight. Since it's getting close to Christmas, I thought I'd snag myself one of these Old Tom's Old Fashioned Eggnog. 14% alcohol. It's pre-mixed. Less than $20 Canadian. I believe it was around $17 or $18. And I have a drink going right here. Pretty tasty stuff. All right. So, let's get into the finds. Okay, folks. So, the first item I'm going to talk about is this antique log and PV that is in the electrolysis bath here. I'm not going to take it out of the solution, but you can kind of see it in there. If you want to get a look, good look at it, go back in the video a little bit there, and you can see it quite clearly. Now, if you're not familiar with the electrolysis process, you got to run some electricity through the item you're trying to clean the rust off, okay? So some people will use a battery charger or some other methods, but I am using this adapter, and I just cut the end off the adapter and attach the negative to the item you're trying to clean up and the positive to a sacrificial piece of iron. You need to have another piece of iron in there attached to the negative. And when that's running, that'll bubble and gurgle and, you know, make all kinds of messes. You can see here, and I've already had this running for two hours and it was just a bubbling mess. And I changed the water sense. And, uh, I'm going to keep this running again after the video. And I'll probably show it in a future video, cleaned up and perhaps painted or something. All right. Now, let's get into these ones. All right. So, not a lot of finds in this one, but some interesting ones just the same. And uh, first up for some glass, we got the International Drug Company, St. Stephen, New Brunswick, a local soda company top of course is busted off it but i thought i'd bring this home just in case someday i decide i want to start making drinking glasses that would make a fine one and you don't find too many straw yellow glass but uh, check this out i put this white thing underneath it so you can see how cool is that you hold that up to the light that just glows yellow as uh showed in the video needle Piece of glass there, big old, it would have been a crown top. Big old crown top soda bottle. And then next up, we got this little D buckle. That was found in this video. Brass. Kind of neat. Kind of neat little find. We got old Tom's eggnog. <laughs> Still working on that one. Good job, old Tom. And then what I think is probably, well, other than the uh, log and PV, this, of course, is my favorite find. The new Milo Taylor Forbes Company. And it is a pulley. Still a little wet there where I was trying to clean it up. How cool is that, folks? Pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. Now, Taylor Forbes Company, I believe, was established in 1902. But the markings on these are from 1910 to 1934. So this is an old piece. And in 1934, the company changed their name and they would have included Limited after this. So it's Taylor Forbes Company Limited. So that's after 1934. So we know this one is before 1934. 1910 to 1934. Nice old relic. And it does turn... I'm going to frig with it. It'll make a complete rotation. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'll just leave that for another time. That would look really nice. Cleaned up a little more and uh, paint it black too. It would look really good. And finally for this video, folks, is this big old spoon. No, I did not find this in this video. And no, Jane did not find it in this video either. I actually found this one several videos ago in an exploring video. But I didn't show it in the video, um, cleaned up or anything. So I'm going to show it now. And then on the back here, on the neck of the spoon, I believe it says Belgium Silver Company. However, 
as you can clearly see, it is not solid silver. It's just silver plated. And it's got a nice design on it, nice pattern, which uh, extends way down into the bowl here. Nice big spoon, very cool. And it is quite old, I suspect, probably at least a hundred years. So very neat stuff. All right, folks, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching. Uh, we got lots more stuff coming up, so stay tuned. It's getting near uh, Christmas time and going to get into the new year with some new finds. Over and out, folks. Have a great day.